Ah, uh, so where is the first stage going to be? Battlefield. Battlefield. Like. Yep. Is this going to go to timeout? There's a chance this could time out. I don't think it will. However, it's possible. That option is on the table. This is one of those times during Bank House Weekend that if you want to take a dookie, um, you won't be late. <laughs> or miss out on anything. I'm not making any uh, references to anything that happened earlier this weekend where I had to buy a replacement plane ticket. Dookie. Oh, <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> Not saying I had to buy a replacement ticket for somebody missing a flight or anything. Yeah, I don't know what you're referring to. Not at all. <laughs> um, so we're 30 seconds in. It kind of looks like a hand warmer, except it isn't. Yeah, this is literally the actual match. <laughs> Nintendo got the In case you were wondering. Yeah, and now Nintendo no longer has an obligation to approach. The onus is on Prince Abu. But in seven minutes, you can really just. You don't have to actually approach for the next five minutes. You can take a nap on your platform. You literally can just hang out, see the sights, see Battlefield. What's what's exactly going on in the background of Battlefield? Are you in like a wormhole, some kind of vortex? Yeah. There's a, a funny Dota 2 game that lasted like 100 minutes. And the current commentators are hysterical. It's like, they're pushing the base. They're pushing the base. No, they're going back. Why? Why? And then, like, <laughs> and then the game's over. And it's like, oh, no, it's 1-1. One, one. We have to call the game. We have to call the next game of this series. <laughs> Oh man. It's the best it's one of the best culture videos. <laughs> That's great. So minute and a half into the match and we're starting to see some action develop. Yeah. A total of ninety one damage. Yep. In ninety seconds. About a, about one percent per second right now is what we're looking at. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Prince of is slowly getting damage. Oh, and oh. oh, and I feel like Prince could have mashed out of that I if he was like a little bit. I feel like he had an eternity, but the pace of the match probably made him so slow yeah, that right. he was like, oh, <laughs> Probably I wasn't used to doing anything quickly in this match. Or pushing buttons. <laughs> Ooh, I think going up to 300 is actually a really smart play because you're extolling and extending the lead yeah, yeah, yeah. and reducing the time that Exactly. You Since time is clearly a factor in this match, you're pushing it closer to the timeout and you have the lead already. It makes sense. I think uh, Chu did the same thing against Prince when he played him at Battle of BC. He wobbled to 300 oh, every time. Oh, and Tendu's going to go to top platform. Let's see how long he lasts before the up airs start sharking him for too much damage. Yeah. But, you know, I don't really feel like Sopo can do much anyway. So, like, if you can just milk the time, I think that's okay. Yeah, not bad. If you can, any damage is bonus, but if you can take a 30 seconds, a minute off the timer, that's not bad in this situation. Although, you know, it doesn't have too much of a lead, so that could end up backfiring. That's yeah. the that's the issue of playing with the clock like that, is that if you don't have a big enough lead to make sure that you're ahead, then it could end up backfiring. And right now, what Prince of is doing, he's making really safe choices, just hoping that, I and mean, what he's saying is, if you jump, I'm gonna hit you. But if you don't jump, nothing's gonna happen. Right. That's a lot of what Prince of Boo's game plan is. While it's okay if you have the lead, it's not okay if you're losing. Yeah. And Prince did drop an edge guard a second ago as well, which is not a good look against Sopo. This actually looks a little bit tougher than you would think. Uh, Puff normally has a very easy time edge guarding characters, but doesn't look the easiest on Sopo. Oh, no punish on that laggy up smash. But Nintendo doesn't really need to find a kill either. Yeah, but I mean, 50% is great, honestly, for, for Nintendo in this situation. And I think he started, uh, Prince of Boo started off at like 15%. Um, with we just saw the Soko. Yeah. Uh, eventually, I thought the Tomahawk was going to come out. There it is. And, oh, and I thought he was just going to grab that. Finally gets that back air on the tournament winner. So we're four minutes in, that. and now we're at one stock. Tendu <laughs> utilizing another two seconds by staying on the cloud. Ooh, so and double yep. down smash. Oh, and the taunt. He's playing mental games at this point. Yeah. I think, like, after losing the Spark so many times just through stalling, like, he just does not care anymore. I think Spark <laughs> actually broke him in the workout. <laughs> It's like, if everyone's okay with timing out me, I'm yeah. not going to care anymore. That's understandable. It's fair. Especially in a matchup like this. I don't blame either side for trying to time out. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't make for the most exciting match, but... This is exciting once. It's like that... Um, what would you? What type of food would you try like once? Uh, but like not again? 
I don't know. Pineapple anyway. on pizza. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Once it's all right. It's, it's all right. right. But it's not something I would have every day. Yeah, yeah. Like. This is definitely the pineapple on pizza yeah. of, of Melee Match. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Prince finally gets that Nana kill, but he's got three minutes and over a stock deficit to work with. Now two stocks and another taunt from Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo DM, with man. a little little sly smile there. Got a little smirk going on. I think uh, he's enjoying uh, beating Prince at his own game right now. Yeah. Ooh, and he misses the follow-up again. Ooh. And this is looking very difficult for Prince. Okay. okay. Finally gets that kill. He's got to find a way to near get rest? this kill. Rest would be amazing, but very difficult on Ice Climbers. Go for a near rest. Him. That would be good. He's got he's to make something happen. He's only got two minutes, and he's got a big deficit to overcome. So and we'll the see. thing is, is that, like, not only do you have to find one kill, which is going to be really hard for him, you have to add 36% on right. the next slide. Yeah, yeah. But he's still taking his time. Two minutes, honestly, is an eternity still. So, And he's going to start doing YOLO things, I feel like, as things get more desperate. Yeah. The pounds are going to come out. I want to see oh, near man. rest. Yeah, I'm surprised there was no punish on the icicle there. He definitely could have at least landed an aerial yeah. on the climbers. We're down to 1 minute and 45 seconds. Oh, he snuffed out the tomahawk. Yep. Sometimes the moment you see Puff land, you just, you just throw a hitbox. <laughs> um, there was like a really fascinating um, grab that Mutikin got on Hungry Box's tomahawk in last week's set, uh -huh. where it was like a last stock scenario. Hungry Box was looking for the tomahawk, and then Mutikin just grabbed him right away. Oh, okay. Like as he was landing. Yeah. One sec. Let me think. That definitely you. That's a pure hundred percent read. Like you know exactly what they're gonna do yeah. if you go for that. So no. that'd be funny if they go to Dreamland. Yeah, I was thinking. Do we have to? I hope not, but there's a decent chance this will go to Dreamland, and then that could be the time. Uh, I mean, you can pick whatever part you want. I don't care. We will see. I, I don't want to do the thing where we like wait five seconds, but you can pick whatever. Part All right. You want. Where are they gonna go for game two? I, I'd rather not wait five seconds, but you can change your board. Yeah, I am at. From Prince's point of view, I feel like Dreamland is a pick, but maybe that got banned. Um, honestly, the way Nintendo was playing it, though, oh, okay. I wouldn't be surprised I, if he I didn't ban board. Dreamland because he seemed totally fine with the why do I have to take my board? slow <laughs> pace of the match. Do I have to? No, All right, some, <laughs> they're joking around. They're having fun with it. I don't know what they're laughing about. Oh, okay. <laughs> they are actually discussing the neutral start. Oh, because if you do neutral start in the beginning, it takes away like I, I, eight seconds from the game. Oh, game. yeah. So <laughs> in this case, they need those precious few seconds. They need every second they can get. <laughs> so they have to actually just change their ports for neutral start. Yeah. Rather than <laughs> Otherwise, you're wasting 10 crucial seconds in this match, <laughs> which actually is important in this match. That's the only time that will matter. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that that whole aspect is interesting. I wonder if like ten years in the future, people just have all the the ports memorized for every stage. So you just sit down, you automatically know which ports you need to be for neutral starts. But then there's there's su the subtle differences that being a different port uh, actually changes in the game as well. Um, for example, I think I want to say Fox's chain grab on himself is easier in port four for some reason. I forget exactly why. Look at, Melee is weird, man. Not if I don't have to. <laughs> Melee has a lot of deep, like strange <laughs> mechanics that don't really make sense. But they all come together to form an amazing game, and so it works out. I don't want to Damn. You don't want to switch, I don't want to switch. And uh, Nintendo <laughs> and Prince of Boo are still just having a ball up there. I don't know. I mean, they could just press start and then see where it is and right. then restart the next game, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know why this is this much of a ordeal, but it is. I see. They don't want to give up their port. So now we have <laughs> an interesting standoff where, <laughs> I don't know, man. You, get, you guys really need to make this set longer. I'm going to yell at both of these people after this match. So I'm going to tweet it. Tweet at them right now. Tweet at Prince Abu and Nintendo and be like, do you guys really need to make this set longer? I guess they want to, man. 
Yeah. At this point, they're probably doing it for the memes. I don't think they are. Let's just make it three out of five. The fact that who they are is the meme. That's true. <laughs> that's actually a very good point. You can't call them memers because they, they're just, they're the that's their natural state. That's how they exist, is memeing. Mainly Prince, actually. I wouldn't call Nintendo as much of a memer, but... I like I the taunts. Remember, remember at a Xanadu where you held the sign? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a low-key memer, for sure. Oh, man. They, they had to bring in TOs. This got real serious. Real fast. We've had all sorts of controversies today. That pause incident earlier. Oh, yeah. I was commentating that. Yeah. I honestly... It, literally, I'm on Team Liquid, and I was like, "That's that's kind of BS." Like, <laughs> they they definitely should have won that game. Yeah. S2J and Shroom did end up winning the set, so it didn't yeah. ultimately matter. But uh, look at our man G Money on the other set. Was he getting wobbled? <laughs> yeah, I think he got wobbled every time. Who's he playing? <laughs> Army. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Game two and Yoshi's. This one should be quicker, but should and will are two very different things. And in the time that uh, they decided on things, I was able to go take a dookie. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not late. Yeah. No, you <laughs> timed that dookie very well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad my impersonator, who sounds exactly like me, was able to fill in the space. <laughs> All right. Uh, opposite start for game two. Prince of Blue finds yeah. the first thing. Much better start for him. Gets Nana out of there, and this matchup is insanely hard for Sopo. Does Chu ever complain about how dumb this matchup is sometimes? No, actually, Chu very, complains very, very little for an Ice Climber. So, like, considering how bad Sopo especially is, and in teams, for example, Chu usually doesn't, he won't be like, man, Ice Climbers are so bad in teams. Like, he kind of just, he works with it. I so. guess that's why he's a top 10 player. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Ooh. And Man. this was a nice start, but now Nintendo's already tied it up. Yeah, Nintendo's making this look like an even matchup right now between Sopo and Jigs, which it is most certainly not. Absolutely. I was saying I feel like Prince is comfortable with the matchup, but not as not as much as I thought based on what I've seen so I think far. So far what I've seen is that he's like camping, just throwing out like generally good hitboxes, but I don't think he knows any subtleties or nuances of the matchup. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely what it looks like. Like, we haven't seen, like, a near rest at all. Like, and there were positions where I thought he could go for it. Yeah. There was other situations, too. Like, when uh, when Nintendo was shooting the Icicles and Prince had no punish, even though he's right next to him. Yeah. So. Icicles and Blizzard have a lot of lag. Yeah, they do. Like, Nintendo's, like, punishing pounds. Like, he's just he's seeing them. And it seems like he has more of a grasp of what the other character does. Than right. A boot. So just now, principally just hoping that Nintendo's going to jump. So it's like Lava Pit versus Air Lava Pit, yeah. if there's such a thing. I guess like Poison Fog? I don't know what you would <laughs> Poison call. Poison Fog. What, what would you call like air? The mist. Yeah, the mist. <laughs> yeah, this is looking better for Prince. Can he? Oh, he doesn't get the kill. I feel like that was very doable to confirm that kill on Nana, but he's yeah, not he, quite get it. It was it was in the bag. Yep. All right. So one likes to stay on the ground and one likes to stay in the air. It kind of reminds me of, like Manage and Ice Timers. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely looking like a brawl matchup yeah. right now. Ooh. And. Back to looking pretty rough for Prince. He hasn't really been winning the Battle of Attrition so far, so I feel like he needs to kind of go in a little bit yeah. more. And we just saw Nintendo shamelessly roll four times in a row across from Prince of <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, I mean, it seems like Prince of Boo has a game plan, but he's not like actively like reading or figuring out like Nintendo's patterns either. Yeah. His game plan just isn't working out very well, yeah. so he needs to switch it up, honestly. Yeah. And even Nintendo's uh, Sopo's doing really well. Yeah, no, he's actually done a ton of work with Sopo in this head, um, which is huge. That cloud actually saved Nintendo. Yep. And let's see if Prince can finish it off this time. Does not. A little bit slow on that edge guard, so. I feel like also when you play Ice Timers and you play Sopo only, like time slows down and you feel like keenly focused. Yeah. <laughs> 
turns into the Matrix for yeah. a hot second. Game's pretty close. Don't know how Fitzgibbon's gonna consistently land hits. Maybe he doesn't need to. Four minutes left on the timer, in case you're watching. In case you're watching the timer. Could in case end you're up not being watching G Money getting wobbled. <laughs> Right. Slowly weaving is in. He's Ooh. going for the ground a lot more instead of just going for high attacks. Oh, that was a big risk from Tendu to in. Doesn't get punished for jumping. Ooh, good jab. Although that could have been a rest. Yep. But you would need insane reflexes to recognize. Yeah, that would have been a very difficult rest to land, but. Hungry Box gets those a lot now. He yeah, added he that to his weapon ring. It's crazy how much Hungrybox still advances the Puff meta. Yeah. Ooh. And the up smash. Now it's looking real rough for Prince again. Uh, not as bad as game one in terms of what he's got to deal with to make this comeback, but it's still pretty tough. The tough part about like actively doing non-backer hitboxes that like actually might work on Ice Timers is that you put your body at risk and anything that like remotely miss space on shield like will get punished by Ice Timers out of shield. Right. Ooh. Okay. No punish there. Oh, oh he's he, late. Yeah, he was delayed on that forward smash. Probably would have worked otherwise. Yeah. All right. Let's see if he can get a little bit more damage. Oh, oh wow. Just barely grabs. <laughs> so just you just see these moments where both of them are stopping. You're just like, oh, like what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Yeah. Both trying to play very reactive. All right. Gets a tiny bit of damage with that side B. I respect it. Let's see if uh, Prince Boo can extend the set to a game three. <laughs> Challenge is like, thinking, no, please, no, Nintendo right. win. Uh. I try to be unbiased, but let's go into <laughs> Now you're your silence. Your silence speaks voice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Na Nana has some damage. Yeah. And a couple of uh, jab setups could have oh, worked out. That was well. a great grab, actually, by Prince. Not able to fill, uh, finish the kill on Nana. But it's actually really close. Yeah. But even then, um, oh, that was an unpunished pound. Yeah, that looked real risky, but he got away with it. Oh, another pound? That shield is getting low on Nintendo, and Prince is starting to take advantage. Yeah. Now uh, Nintendo trying to shoot more aerials, more hitboxes. He's trying to get underneath Hungry Box. Uh, <laughs> Hungry Box. <laughs> Sorry, it's a force of habit. Yeah. Oh. He is wearing the bandana. Oh, oh, and that back air ends up sealing it. Good he stuff to Nintendo. Longest 2 0 of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Even the mid set. Yeah, uh, but no, good stuff to Nintendo. He played that matchup very well. He was ready for Prince's approach to the match, which was to take his time, and uh, yeah, ended up uh, with a very solid win over Prince. Yeah. So nicely done from Nintendo.